In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do laboratory submissions. Now, I'm going to focus first on how to get to your lab materials and how to download the worksheets that you'll be submitting and how to submit them. And then in two weeks, I'll post another video about the actual lab kit when you're doing physical experiments. For the first two weeks of this class, the experiments we'll be doing instead will be worksheets that can be completed without the use of the lab kit. So if you are still waiting on your lab kit to arrive, you can go, go ahead and complete the assignments and not worry about missing any due dates. Make sure, however, that you order the lab kit in the first couple of days of class. Because JCC does not keep the actual kits in stock, they must be shipped directly from the manufacturer. If you are ordering the lab from JCC's bookstore, JCC will send you an access code with directions on how to input that onto the manufacturer's website and the manufacturer will then send you the lab kit. So if you are ordering online through JCC's website, you'll need to allow shipping for two different items. One from the card with the access from JCC's library bookstore and then one from the manufacturer. So let's go ahead and jump in here. So I'm in the first week's folder looking at Lab 1, Introduction to Science, and down here is the Submission Portal. When you click on this, it will come up with your introductory information. It is very important for all of your labs that you read through this information. This will tell you what, how to work out not just the experiments, but how to figure out the post-lab questions, especially those calculations when we get to the quantitative labs. So most of the questions I get about labs when students don't understand how to do a lab or they don't understand how to do a post-lab or how to answer a question after the lab, it's very obvious that they did not read through the introduction. So make sure that you read through this introduction. So you'll click Next, read it through the introduction, and as you're reading through, there are videos to watch. So here's a video on how to do the scientific or method. The scientific method is a rigorously established. And then you'll also come across quizzes, and it will not let you connect. Click next until you answer the question, and then it'll move on. And then click next. So I'm going to go ahead and skip all the way to the very end of this lab so you can see what the very end looks like. So here I am at the very end of the lab having read through all of the introductory materials and completed all the introductory quizzes. And at the end here are the lab procedures. Most of the labs have more than one procedures. If it says exercise, then that generally does not have an experiment or so this for this first lab there aren't any experiments and then it might also have experiments that's what you need your lab kits for. Now if you click on this it'll just show you what the handout looks like if you wanted to say print it off and these are on PDF. Now unless you have a software that allows you to change PDFs this probably is less useful to you. What's probably more useful to you is over here on the right hand side where it says lab workbook. If you click on this workbook, it will give you the documents in document form. Enable editing. And now here are all of your exercises for the first lab in a document form that you can easily fill in and answer. Now, for this first assignment, there are lab or there are unit conversions. Any calculation, including these unit conversions in the first lab, you must show your work in order to get credit. If you just give me the answer and didn't show any work, then I will not give you credit for this worksheet. Make sure that you read the question carefully. For example here, determine the number of significant digits in each number and write out the specific significant digits. So for example, if I was looking at number two here, 0 0.0098, leading zeros aren't significant, so there are only two significant figures here. I would write that there are two significant figures, let me just say sig figs, and then I would list them as 9 and 8. So don't just answer the first part, make sure you're answering both parts. List all the digits that are significant. 
converting into scientific notation, and then the third experiment is uh, determining what the independent, dependent variables and controls are. So if you're not sure how to tell the difference between the independent variable or dependent variable, again, that's where reading through the introduction comes into play. If you've read through the introduction and you're still confused, please reach out to me to get help. Don't wait until the date's due, though, because I may not get back to you before the due date. So those are the worksheets. Fill them out, save them, and then that's what you're going to submit. Now, once you're doing actual experiments, in addition, these worksheets will also have where you put in your data and you do your post-lab calculations. I also require you to include pictures of your experiment, your setup, and your results. Even if the worksheet does not specify a place to put in a picture, I require that you have pictures for every single experiment to prove that you actually did the experiment. So that you would just take the pictures, you can take it with your cell phone, and then copy and paste the image directly into the body of the document. Um, and if it shows up as this huge picture, I do recommend uh, making it a little bit smaller, otherwise the file size will get huge. So just copy and paste it directly into the body. You can put it down at the very bottom of the, of the last page if you want to, if there's no specific place for it in the document. So once you are done and you are ready to submit it, make sure you save it. Save it in document format. Which I'm not going to do right now because I'm not saving it. And then you're going to go back into the assignment page here. And you're going to click here where it says your lab and you're going to upload browse your computer and attach the files here now these due dates again are I do not accept late work unless there are extenuating circumstances that you contact me early about after the due date passes this link will vanish so those the due dates are always due at 1159 p.m. be very careful because at 12 a.m. this link will vanish so make sure you are not working on this last minute Otherwise, you will be unable to submit the assignment if that due date passes. So that is how to submit your assignments for the lab portion of this class.